Uh, hi there, I'm Steve Monaco, Executive Director of the Health Center at Auraria. And today we're going to take you on a uh, virtual tour of the new and remodeled Health Center space. The Health Center is located in the Plaza Building in Suite 150. And we've got a new front door that got moved from where it was previously. And we'll be entering here and showing you our lobby area. Our new lobby is divided into two sections. When you first walk in, if you make a left, you'll be going to patient check-in for health services. And if you make a right, you'll be going into the immunizations and insurance area where students can submit their immunizations and or discuss their insurance needs. This is our new immunization office where students who need to report their measles, mumps, rubella can do that in this office and we can also give immunizations here, as well as in an adjacent room that we have for expanded services. We're now looking at our checkout area so that when patients are completed with their examination, this is where they come to drop off their encounter form and to discuss their insurance options with our staff. This is our main corridor that goes back to our men's and women's restrooms on this side, and there are provider rooms and our procedure room is in this corridor. This is the exam room for our family medicine and sports medicine physician who does a lot of orthopedics and a variety of other things for those that are the weekend warriors. And he also does um, family medicine um, in general as well. The health center offers extensive mental health services and our team of psychiatric professionals are officed on this side of the health center suite. Women's healthcare is a really important component of the services provided by the health center. And this particular room is our GYN procedure room where we do a variety of biopsies, colposcopies, cryotherapy. This is our sub waiting section for patients who have checked in and who are potentially waiting to have their lab work drawn um, and or waiting to see a provider. On a given day, we may have 45 staff working in the health center. And this particular room is their conference room, break room and it's worked very well. We've got the TV where we can do professional development and training and an opportunity for folks to take their breaks during the day. Down this corridor is our main medical provider rooms and each provider has two examination rooms so that they can see a patient in one while another patient is getting prepped for them or the next visit. The health center has a medication drug outlet where we carry around 150 commonly used medications for convenience for our students and patients and we also try to keep our prices on these medications as competitive and as low as possible. This is the main laboratory where we draw blood and we get our samples prepared to send out to an external laboratory for processing. The health center personnel respond to campus emergencies quite often during the semesters and the ambulances are called and they come in the back entrance which is what this door is and the ambulance comes right through here, or the ambulance staff, I should say, comes right through here and goes into our procedure room and emergency room. This is a view looking down the main corridor, showing our exam rooms on the left and our men's and women's restrooms and our checkout at the far end. We wanted to show this particular machine because we've been waiting on this since January. It is our new um, analyzer, which specifically can do PCR COVID-19 tests. This particular unit can give us results on COVID-19 definitively in 45 minutes. One of the important services that we offer is on-site x-ray. And this is our radiology room where we can take films and those films are then sent off to the University of Colorado Radiology Department where they are overread by radiologists. The executive director of the health center's office is what we're looking at now. He has many meetings with supervisors within various departments of the health center in here, so you'll see quite a few chairs for the supervisors to sit within. Our medical director, Dr. Ruben Zaria, office is out of this space, and um, since we're in the basement, there's not many windows, but Dr. Zaria's got a window, so he can actually see sky. In the center of the health center space, is our nurse's station. It is often known or a support staff station where our medical assistants, our radiology techs, and our physician's assistant has a hub each day to coordinate clinical activities. This is the assistant director's office who's in charge of finances. She's our chief financial officer for the health center. And then as we go next door to her is the associate director's office where he is in charge of day-to-day -day operations. This area here is where our front office personnel are housed, and this is where patients are checked in and established for their clinical visit. 
We have a bank of phone operators answering calls here and directing them to the appropriate clinical resource. This particular room was added when we did our remodel as a adjacent room to the health center. The importance of that is, is that we can have individuals in here who need to be isolated or quarantined. And we also use it for any of our immunizations such as COVID-19, the flu shots, travel immunizations, etc.